What's up guys, Godsley back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can use your Stream Deck to play sound effects for your friends, yourself, your game, pretty much wherever you want to. Now this is an update video. I made an original video about how to do this years and years ago. Um, but since then, there's been some changes. There's some, it's, it's much easier now, and I wanna go over those things with you. So for, if any of you are coming from that video, I'm glad you're here, I hope this helps you out. And for those of you that are new, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I've been doing sound effects on the Stream Deck for years now, and my friends and I have a lot of memories from this. So it's definitely something fun to use uh, with you and your friends. So we're gonna break this up into a couple sections. I'm first gonna show you how to set up your sound effects in general. Uh, then I'm going to show you how to route your sound effects. So routing your sound, whether it be hardware or software that you choose or that you have. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about some new things that Stream Deck has for sound effects that we didn't have back in the day when they first started this that are gonna be super helpful to you. I actually didn't know about this until I started searching through this stuff again, and I'm gonna be using it a lot. So I'm really excited to kind of show that stuff to you. So we'll start here real quick with the sound effects. So I've set up a little page right here. Um, I started a new TikTok folder for some TikTok sound effects to play with my buddies. Um, and I've got those sound effects here. You see over here on the left side, um, the window of the actual sound effects, find you a little spot in your computer that you wanna put all your sound effects. I've got you know tabs for each type of sound effect. Now I've already got them set up here, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So basically, you don't even have to do anything over here anymore. You don't have to download anything anymore to do the sound effects. You used to, you had to do the play audio and you had to do voice mod or whatever it was. Now you literally, whatever it is you wanna do, you drag it, you drop it. That's it, it's that simple. Once you're there, you can choose what function you want. I won't play stop, so that way if I play it, I can stop it with the next press. You can have it to where it resets or restarts. You can have it loop. You can do whatever you want. And then from there, you can adjust your volume. Some clips might be louder than others. So you can adjust that so you're not destroying your friend's ears, but you also want them to hear. And then lastly, your output. This is gonna change for everybody. I'm gonna explain this part in a minute in the routing section, but this is where you'll be uh, choosing where the sound comes from uh, or where or what it plays from when you press the button. So when I press the emotional damage button on the bottom there, it's gonna play through my sample uh, channel on my GoXLR. So real quick, let me pull up the Discord, because you know what, I've watched a ton of these videos and don't nobody ever tell you how to do this and it makes me so mad. They always play the sound effect for you, but then they don't, tell, they don't show you or prove to you that it works, and then people I see in the comments get mad, so I'm gonna show it to you. So you see me talking, you see my little logo popping up. Now, I'm gonna play the sound effect. Emotional damage. So you see right there, it lit up, it played, you heard it in the video, and it wasn't coming through my desktop, it was coming through my microphone. There you go, that's your proof. So I'm gonna delete this one because I've already got the other one set up. But I've got the other ones here, um, and I'll show you too. You can you can you know start and stop. You can start and stop it how you want to, um, and set those up. Now, you can also uh, I'll show you this because it's an older thing. So this button right here, the clip audio. So if you scroll down, I don't know where it'll be on yours, um, but you've got the sound deck. From here, you can move the clip audio over. And what this allows you to do is you can kind of record stuff as well on the fly. So if you say your friend says something stupid and you want to have that as a memory for the rest of your life, you can press the button um, and like I've got it set up so it's going to record for 30 seconds and then you can choose where you want that sound effect to go once it's rendered. Uh, so I've got a folder set up for these. You just got to choose your capture device. So what you want it to capture, I want it to capture chat only because I don't want my game or anything else in there. I just want my friends talking. Uh, so I've got that on there. So that's a thing you could always kind of do. Um, I just didn't show in the previous video. So that's a fun thing. Um, so now we'll move on to the routing portion. So how do you get these sound effects to your headset, your friends, or your game, or all these things to where you can experience them together? Um, in Windows software only, this is pretty much impossible. Um, now there may be ways to do it. I don't know how to do it, so I'm gonna show you how I know how to do it. So basically it requires you to either have hardware or software. I have hardware. Um, I've got the GoXLR. Um, this is the software here. Now, there's two GoXLRs, the full one and the mini. 
Both of them will work perfectly for these purposes because it'll give you the same software either way. Uh, so if you don't want to spend quite so much money, the mini is also a good choice. Um, I don't have it, uh, hopefully maybe in the future, but um, the people who made GoXLR branched off. They wanted to make something more simple, um, and they've come out with something new called the Beacon, and the Beacon Create and the Beacon Mix Create, stuff like that. They're very small, much smaller than what the GoXLR is, much better priced as well. It's more around the like the 199 price. It doesn't have the inputs for an XLR or all the stuff like this does on the back. It's just one USB to the computer, so it's all digital. Um, it's actually really nice. So if that's also something you can do, they're currently sold out, but they may be more available by the time you see this video, possibly. Now, for those of you who don't want to do hardware, your other option would be software. Uh, voice meter, in my opinion, is probably the best thing that you can use. Um, and just like I'll explain my software real quick. So in here, you've got the routing table. The routing table allows you to choose where all your sounds are going. I've got my sound effects set up in the sample tab, and I want those to play through my mic. Well, here's my chat mic output. In my chat mic, of course, I want my microphone to play through. I want people to hear me. And then I want my samples to play through because I want people to hear my sound effects. And of course, you can do all kinds of other stuff. But for the sake of this video, that's all you need. You need your microphone to go through and you need your sound effects to go through. Now, you can choose any of these you want to if you got to go. So you don't have to do just the samples. But I've got other stuff coming through here. Uh, so I chose sample. So... That's how you do it on the Go XLR. You would do the same thing here. It just looks different. I would highly recommend looking up some tutorials on YouTube of how to use this software. It's Voice Meter Banana. Um, for those of you that are um, new to kind of digital cables and digital software like this, do Banana. Don't do the potato. Potato's got way too much stuff going on, and it's going to get you confused. So once you've got Banana set up, watch some of those tutorials. I'm pretty sure if I remember right, right here is where you'll choose like sample mic you'll choose all your different inputs and and change them to what you want them to be so that it outputs the proper way but definitely watch some tutorials uh there's many people out there that can explain that better than i can i actually have a friend he has a go xlr now but he used to use voice meter before that to play his sound effects as well so i know this actually does work um, so definitely get that if you don't want to spend any money it's still free um, so you can use that and if you want to in the future you can upgrade to some sort of hardware if you'd like to But that's your choices between hardware and software. I'm sure there's more out there uh, But I covered some expensive options some less expensive options and a free option So that should help you to get everything set up the way you need So that's all your setup. That's your software So once you've got all that set up and got your sound effects set up, you should be good to go of course in your uh, in your game or in your discord, you need to go into your audio settings and change your outputs and inputs to your proper headset, your proper mic, and what you've set up with your software or your hardware so that it all is the same. And then from there, let's talk about some new things that we didn't have before. It's actually really, really cool. Um, and I didn't know about it till recently, so I'm going to be using this a lot now. So if you go up here to the Stream Deck store, uh, it's going to pop up a little window. Let me pull it over. They've got all kinds of stuff. You can buy a lot of stuff that they have. Um, but over here to the side, you'll notice music and sound effects. They now have their own full library of thousands and thousands of songs and music and all this fun stuff that you can use in your streams, your videos, whatever you want to do. Um, and so now, like, you know, this, this ding, you can literally, like I've already downloaded these two, you can press download. And it, it downloads it for you. And you know, oh man, I don't know where that folder was. You press open library and then boom, they pull it over as well. It puts it in a nice little folder for you. It's all named appropriately. And then just like I said before, drag and drop. So I dragged the, the strong whoosh. And then it's going to play through once you've got all your stuff set up. Oh, sorry, I didn't do the sample. My bad. Let me do it again. So that's really cool. I'm going to use that a lot now. I did not know we had that access. And so now for my YouTube videos and stuff, I'm going to try to incorporate some of that in there as well. Um, and if I start streaming again, maybe I'll do some of that also. But that's it, guys. That's how you do your sound effects on your stream deck, how you listen to it yourself, how you play it for your friends, play it for the people you're gaming with, have those experiences, have those moments. Uh, we covered the software, we covered the hardware, we covered how you can record your friends saying stupid stuff. We covered all the new things you can do with these new sound effects and this new store that Elgato has for you to select from. It's a lot of cool stuff. 
For those of you coming from the old video, I hope this has been helpful to you. For those of you who are just now new to my content, new to this type of video, I hope this has been helpful to you as well. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you leave a like. Uh, comment below, let me know. Are you going to go hardware? Do you already have software? What 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 is your choosing for how you're going to do these sound effects with your friends? Also, what's going to be your favorite sound effect that you're going to get? I like these new TikTok sound effects, so that's what I'm going to be going with right now. Um, but let me know in the comments what you're going to be doing, guys. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm going to try to do more content like this, some fun stuff you can do with the Stream Deck, with your GoXLR, with other hardware and stuff that you can use for your videos or your streams. Um, and then lastly, if you enjoy this video, you want your friends to also do this with you and they have a Stream Deck, share it with them. Share it with your friends. Share it with everybody you know. That way they can learn how to do this fun stuff as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.